Welcome back to What's the 401 Sports. We're in a New York state of mind with our New York sports report. And we are going to talk about our Brooklyn Nets. It was media day across the NBA, and the Brooklyn Nets had their own. And there were a good number of players who really think that they have enough pieces to do significantly better this year than last. Playoffs, even. While there are some that are a little more cautious and just believing that they'll get more wins without going so far as to say that they would make the playoffs. Mike, are the players right to be cautiously optic or should they be more aggressive in their thinking and their beliefs on how they're going to do this season? No, I think that they're right to be cautious here because, you know, I think the over under is something like 31 or maybe even 32 wins for the Nets for uh, the wins for the coming up this season. I think they won 27 or 28 games last year. So, And I know that doesn't seem like much improvement, but I think that there's no question in my mind that this team will wind up winning more games that they did last season. And I know that people can look at that and say, well, you know, it's not much <laughs> of an improvement, but when your win column is really that depleted and you don't have much, uh, it's good to pick up on something. I think Kenny Atkinson, he's gotten comfortable here now. I saw him in an interview on the Yes Network about a week or two ago, and the guy just seems like he's very upbeat. I like his energy. I think that the big focus for this team, of course, is going to be defense, right? Because they know that without a doubt that that's one of the things uh, that really has hurt them over the last couple of seasons. They get that first quarter, like sometimes the first five, ten minutes of the game, they're in it, and then all of a sudden everything just seems to fall apart. And then by the end of the first quarter, they're down by 15 points yeah. and I think that those collapses are something that they're really going to try to look to avoid you can't knock this team's heart I can't tell you how many net games we've seen over the last several years a couple of years and they're in it right even back when Lionel Hollins was coaching yeah they were not winning many games but there were times where they'd be playing tight games against the Cleveland Cavaliers or even when the Knicks were somewhat competitive and they would keep games close you mentioned off air, and I know you might want to speak about it, but Ed Davis, I think, is really someone that people are going to want to keep an eye on this year. This guy is tough minded, uh, no question about it, and I think the rebounding is something that he's going to lead a big focus on for them. Yeah, and Kenneth Breed, I actually like him too. I think he's going to be a really nice piece for the Brooklyn Nets. And I think that, you know, I think that aiming for more wins than last year is attainable. So, um, just quick, I have decided that for the remaining quarter of this year, I am going to set goals for myself. I, I've never done it really in a formalized, formalized manner, and I'm going to do it because that is one of the keys for highly successful people, and if it works for them, why not try it? So you set SMART goals, and SMART is an acronym, and the A stands for attainable. And I think that saying that you're going to win more games than last year is attainable. So I looked at um, last year's playoff standings, and the Wizards had the eighth spot. They were the last team to make the playoffs, and they won 43 games. Last year, the Nets won 28, so that's a differential of 15 games. Now, the Nets had an increase of eight games from the year prior to last year. So in order to kind of guess if they can make the playoffs, that means they have to make, they have to double. Now, it may not be impossible, but because it's like, all right, you won eight games last year, why not win eight more? But you've got a lot of new pieces coming in. So I think it might be a little too aggressive to say that you can win 16 games uh, with new pieces. But I definitely, I definitely see more wins for the team. I say about the 30, I'll say 38. All right. Okay. <laughs>